Greetings and happy Easter to you. I'm going to share with you a reflection on this coming Sunday's gospel by Brother Silas Henderson, SDS, because he reminds us of the suffering and death and the great hope of the resurrection of many people of faith in a country called the Savior, El Salvador, where my faith grew tremendously when I spent the summer of 1985 working with Salvadorans displaced by the Civil War there through the Jesuit Refugee Service. We begin with an excerpt from the Gospel reading of St. Luke. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred, and it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. In October 1979, the Central American nation of El Salvador entered into a civil war that not only allowed the rise of oppressive military dictators, but which also led to the systematic murder and oppression of tens of thousands of Salvadorans particularly poor farmers. Among those who lost their lives defending the rights of the poor and the church was Archbishop, the Archbishop of San Salvador, now Saint Oscar Romero, who was shot to death while saying mass on March 24, 1980. And four American missionaries, Mary Knoll sisters Maura Clark and Ida Ford, Ursuline sister Dorothy Kazel, and lay missionary Jean Donovan, who were raped and murdered on December 2nd, 1980. Then on November 16th, 1989, six Jesuits with whom I had worked, along with their housekeeper and her daughter, were shot to death in the garden of the Jesuit residence because of their support of the poor. The total number of those murdered, raped, and tortured is known only to God. In the year after the death of Archbishop Romero, the Jesuits of El Salvador began a bi-weekly publication known as Letters to the Churches. The newsletter retold the stories of those who suffered from violence and terror at the hands of the military and its soldiers. In one issue, Letters to the churches shared the testimony of Ismael, a catechist who shared some of his experiences of living with the poor in a war zone, accompanying them and the people as they fled to the mountains to try to find safety. There, hiding behind the branches of trees with stars providing their only light because the people were afraid to light candles, the people would retell and reflect on the stories of the gospel. Recalling those terrifying days, Ismail wrote, We suffer a great deal here. Our bodies are wasting away, and we have many worries. The old people and the children we have to carry concern all of us. We have no money, no clothing, no shoes. But God will look after us. We are going to suffer in this life. These are only the birth pangs, but joy will come. The consoling words of Christ will wipe away every tear. No more will there be crying, pain, worry, or death. Everything will pass away. Our hope is to know God. Ismail's ability to find comfort and even hope in Christ is a powerful witness to us in these Easter days, particularly on this third Sunday of Easter, as we hear the story of the journey to Emmaus. St. Luke presents Cleopas and his companion fleeing Jerusalem after the death and burial of Jesus. And although they had heard the testimony of the women that Jesus had been raised from the dead, their disappointment and grief would not allow them to believe such an amazing story. Their despair is captured in one simple but profound statement, we had hoped. And yet, Jesus was there with them, walking with them through their grief, helping them recognize how God had been and continued to be 
at work in the violence of Good Friday and the silence of Holy Saturday. The hope and promise of the resurrection on that Easter day was able to dispel the darkness of grief and despair for Cleopas and his friend, just as it did for Ismael and his companions as they hid in the forest in those terrible days in El Salvador. This is what we celebrate in this Easter season. The resurrection shows that there is always hope and that Christ remains with us, journeying with us as we walk our pilgrim paths. In the words of St. Oscar Romero, Easter is a shout of victory. No one can extinguish that life Christ resurrected, not even death and hatred against him and against his church will be able to overcome it. He is the victor. So I leave you with two questions to consider. How is the good news of Easter inviting you to a new hope, even in these days of quarantine and COVID-19? And when have you experienced Christ walking beside you in another person, in words of scripture, a hymn or poem? How did it feel when you recognized that it was He, Christ, with you.